All right, welcome back. Now, today, now, the International Day for Persons Living with Disabilities. Now, we don't talk about some of the challenges, whether they actually face for inside Wibodo, Nigeria, and how the law, they never stay enforced um, for some states. Um, if, if you look at um, almost all the states, then they never really enforce um, the um, law where they on ground, where they cater for people living with disabilities. But time for us to hear from the horse's mouth. Let's know some of the challenges and um, whether they actually face um, for inside Wibodo, Nigeria. Now we'll, we'll talk with people from the Federal Nigeria Society for the Blind. Jeremy, welcome, the head of communications, um, um, Remy Lade, uh, Demi um, Lade, Lade, Demi Lade um, Lewis, and also we get um, Mr. Cyril Ojemere will tell us some of the um, challenges we in there actually face. Good to have you in the house. Thank, Thank you, you so much for morning. having us. Good morning. Good morning. I start with Demilani. Demilani, mm -hmm. tell us the goal and objective of the organization we belong to. So the organization Federal Nigeria Society for the Blind, as the name says for the blind, the intention of that organization is not to include people where they're blind, include them academically, include them vocationally, so that they fit live life independently. Beautiful. Mm. I like that, living life independent, independently. Now, speaking with Mr. Cyril, because today now, the International Day of Persons Living with Disability, make we understand some of the challenges and um, whether they actually face. Now, you and a person where we say you're visually impaired, um, we both, they go talk to a person where not they see very well. What would be some of the challenges then where you they face for inside Wibudo, Nigeria? Uh, the first thing, for a street like this, to the cross road now, while I shoot, you can see, say, all these uh, vehicles, buses, especially, if you want to cross, they, they, they don't mind to clear your road. And then your, our guy kick, many of us, they don't lose our guy kick because of that one. Then the walkway, uh, not behind at all. The roads, uh, if you enter pool, uh, now you know yourself. So that, those are one of the challenges. In terms of uh, getting work, uh, and the organizations, most organizations, they are very skeptical. They don't want to give you work. Do they look, you say, you don't feel do anything. They don't want to give the job. It's why the bill will come out, or it's why the act will come, say, mean that they give uh, space to people like us, and they give us job, at least uh, incorporate us into the society, make we start to work, to defend for ourselves. Because not every time they see person they way blind, go be beggar. We don't be beggars. We just want people to go assist us, at least make we enter back into, into the society, make we do things for ourselves. I'm the, I'm the cocoa. All right. What about in terms of what about in terms of accommodation? Um, in terms of um, transportation, in terms of health care, in general, as in you they face challenges in these areas too? Yeah, accommodation, landlord, they don't know your face so <laughs> They give you rent, rent to, for, to pay, you know pay. Now your, your own story with that. Then in terms of, uh, uh, you health. say, health, health issue, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> health insurance scheme with them bring up, you know they work at all. Uh, different story, if you don't get money, you don't pay like that, now you know. So tell us um, how you they take money, take for example, because you don't mention the challenges, how you they take overcome some of the challenges. Take for example crossing the road, and we'll not say, hey, for Lagos State, I'll show the expressway for example, it's a place where even uh, people get high, <laughs> people get too high, <laughs> Seth. <laughs> <laughs> they, 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 they hold their hearts for their mouths to cross uh, the road. How much more a peculiar case like yours? So how you go take cross a road as busy as show the expressway? Uh, first of all, now the grace of God. Then secondly, we get some good Samaritans, where they will just see a person like us, one cross the road. They quickly come to our aid, say, okay, we, you want to cross? We say, yes. It was a way with the, the access itself. We would have a hard day for Mato because you know who they talk to you. You know, you say, you want to cross? Go, they say, the carriers enter bush. There's no other kind of thing. God forbid, bad things. So, such people now, they will assist us. They will stop the traffic for us. Or they will tell us, say, yeah, on your mask, get set, go. You are cut like that. So, now, so we they do our own. Though. So they're, 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 they're randomly, now random people, they always did. Random people. Random people, they always did to help. Yes. And in the issue of um, a hospital now, how do they take worker or going to the bank, how to use the ATM? I mean, that's, these are normal, regular things where people wait, get, I know they even think I'm saying, now something they need to think two times to use the ATM machine. Person like you now, how do they take use ATM machine? And how do they take feel which currency different for? Why do they take no Wazo, Wazobia at now Wazo, 50 naira uh -huh. from 100 naira, from 200 naira note, from 500 naira note? How do they take leave? A normal life, just doing your regular. Because I'm trying to understand how it works for you. Uh, that's an under story for another day. <laughs> Make I just brief you. For ATM safe, you also get talk back. So that by that person could they press button, you could they tell everything they do. But ATM will tell anything. You will tell, after you don't take the money finish, you will tell you thank you for banking with us. That's what we need to enter a bank. And they will tell, say our white king, our white king. I better go hold on first. 
They will press one button for inside before the galas enter because the metal detector will tell say if they hold something. They use on a weapon. I bring the weapon to our guide. Now be our eyes. Then in terms of uh, although bank people did they try shall I'm gonna lie for them. They they try. Once they see us like this, they quickly they attend to us, make quickly work out come out. They try for that one. For holding of money, I would like to make a, make the government at least, if not to put brain. Uh, you know, one kind of uh, language we would understand, put them for money so that we would feel them. Say, okay, this is not 15 naira. Because if you give me money now, I get to show person will get the eyes. I say, I beg. What do you think How I do? I want to be this one, though. If person don't get uh, conscience, if it say, not 200 naira, we ask not 500 naira, then, like, like, like some of my people, if they want to buy something like that, those people don't get conscience. They'll give them 500 naira, they'll see not 200 naira, they'll keep, the, uh, keep 200 for themselves. Give them back the 200 naira. Who lose? And we they lose all the, all the same. So government is also help us with that one. Put brain for each money. Say okay, this one uh, 50 naira. This one 100 naira. That one go help us well, well. Mm. Now let me speak with Miss Lewis. Now, hearing some of the challenges when they actually face, and I know some of the first time we done the year, a lot of them get the similar um, challenges. Yes. Now, as the head of communications, how you don't take relay these challenges to government? and how they don't take support in ensuring, say, some of these challenges, they reduce them to a certain um, level. Okay, I'm very glad that you asked that question. So this past October, we get our White King Safety Day work. And the purpose of that work now to let the society know, waiting this White King, the purpose of this White King. As Siri don't say, many people don't know what the White King is. Even right of way for road, now problem. So one of the ways society, they really push now to get some type of law where if it protects people where they're blind. So that in case their rights are violated, say on the road, people can get fined for it. So we went to the Lagos State House of Assembly just this past October. We sat down with the, you know, the people of the house. And one of the things that we proposed was a white cane safety law. So that law now, if they fit incorporate them into the already existing special people's law of Lagos State, it protects the rights of people like, the, like Syria on the road. They can walk. They can move around, they have access to transportation, and people that violate those laws are, you know, fined or jailed. How do you get these people that violate those laws? Now, because just sadly, in commerce, I talk about just crossing the road and how some people, whether that's in a Monwe or on a bus drivers or on a personal cars, they know they even consider, say, a person won't actually cross the road and this person needs help. So how you would take find those people who violate the law as regards to that? So now, now, the, now the thing where we they do here, now just going online, going to social media, going to radio stations, going to TV stations, having jingles and government support to really publicize and push forward this tool. And this is just one tool, like he mentioned, exactly. he has already mentioned several different areas. Mm -hmm. But this is just one tool, this is the most basic. You and I have legs, mm -hmm. we have eyes, we fit walk, we sure. fit go anywhere. Mm -hmm. This one are their eyes. So for bank people to say that they know fit enter with their guide cane because it's a, it's a, it's a metal tool, it don't, it don't really make sense. Mm -hmm. For people who, to be walking on the road and not know, say this person did blind, even with this stick, it don't really make sense. So now to sensitize from grassroots level in schools, on radio, on TV, make people know that as soon as you see a person with a white cane, the person they blind do, give them right of way. So now that's, that's what we're trying yeah. to do, just push out that awareness that's so that mm -hmm. people know. The more people know, the more they will be aware. Okay, just like she be asked now, in a case where, when they, as they try to use the white cane crossroad, Moto jam the white cane, fling and come out, mm. how the victim mm. will take identify, say, now this moto, Nine ah. do me, or oh, now this person, nine kick my white cane. Okay. How, how in that? Because that's know, where the challenge they know is. Feet. They, they, they know feet. They know feet. They know feet. Just like how when person jam car mm -hmm. or car that jam car, your you car that feet run. run. Yeah, yeah, but your car that run, we will get eye feet see your car. Yeah, but if but in like, their own situation, they, they know no feet see. You know, they know feet run. Maybe they side. they side. They say for developed countries, they get a lot of cameras on the road to actually ascertain when things happen like this. But that's why the project we don't put on ground the money we don't put on ground for CCTV. And are still a major challenge. But still talking to you yes. as the head of communications. Now he mentioned something about job. Yes. Access to job Access to, to job. better employment. People yes. will talk, say, because in you know, order see, you know, I don't do. think you are capable mm. of them. How will I don't take address this kind of situation? 
So like he mentioned earlier, there is actually the um, special people's law in Lagos State. And yes. there is also the disability law with a sign for January of this year. Sure. And in that law, it says that 5% of disabled people, suppose they work, whether it be private, mm -hmm. whether it be government. Sure. So it is enforcing those laws now and making all these organizations accountable. Many people don't know that people with their blind feet do the same things the way person we know they blind they, they do. It's not it's not a physical disability or a mental disability. They just they blind. They go to school, they read books. Some of them even have <laughs> professional lives before they go blind. So that professional life not just not just wipe away just because they know they see, but because of skepticism and because we don't really have an inclusive society yet, people are still being treated unfairly and not accepted. Don't we enforce that law because now looking at the society now, we now don't ever take any corporate body what? to court. No, we know we have not taken any corporate body to court. However, now when we send out our sponsors, letter sheets for sponsorship, or even when we get partners, we they always put it for a letter, say, you know they do us favor. This is not the right. The if the person mm -hmm. gets the capacity to do this job, you know if you tell them, say, no, if you do the job because they did blind. Mm. So now we they put them. Before, you know, before the law was put in place, we had to still be playing nice and appealing and, you know, but now with the law, they on ground. We they stand firm on it, and any organization we know will go do that for us, then we'll go take it to the necessary. Part. Now, looking at, looking at that, you, we just talk about job, job creation or job employment in, yes. this, in this particular scenario. What of the people where they try go school, mm. where they blind, where yeah. they try go school, and they don't get the money mm. to actually go to school? Do you have a school? Do you have a, you not get any association with any school for the blind where they also make sure, say, the school fees is a little lesser or on a charity? We okay. only do for those people. <coughs> okay, so schools like, say, higher institution like yes, University, University of Lagos yes. now, mm -hmm. is very disability friendly, especially mm -hmm. to people where they're blind. So now schools like that, University of Ibadan, schools like that, they still they, you know, they try for people where they're blind. But say for secondary school now, there's no specific school that really caters to secondary school students like that. For the blind. For the blind. There's, you know, Pacelli School for the blind, but that's from adolescents, very young, by toddler age, all the way up. So for our, our school now is the school where they try to just fill in that gap a little bit. Where people, they go, who they go blind at maybe 15 to above, would they accept them? Because in Nigeria, there's, there are really not that many schools for special school for it. no mm -hmm. they're not that many at all now still speaking with mr siri concerning job now taking it from which you come outside talk education now mm -hmm. you go to school my, my question will come in three folds now yeah. you go to school where do you study for school and what kind of job you be done they look for and what do you they do now for yourself okay the first one i go to school yes mm -hmm. which kind of uh, which what i do study which mm -hmm. i study uh, pure and applied mathematics wow PSC, then later I do my postgraduate diploma. Uh, I, was, I was about doing my master's before NEPA take life for my eye. And what I was doing before, I was t a teacher in mathematics and further mathematics. And why I choose that subject? Because I love when I did secondary school, people, they find math very difficult. They would just say, a mathematics is a very hard subject taught by very wicked teachers. I said, no, <laughs> I'm a wicked teacher. So I trained that scenario. So thank God, people who I don't teach, they will feel a test, say, ah, this man is very good. different, he did because really, well. I agree with that, uh -huh. I agree with he that. He did different. So yeah. that's why I went into that field. Then, what I do now, I did try to bring back the pieces, try to learn again how to move on my own, be free with myself. Because by the time uh, the light just goes like that, uh, it was devastating. You would just say, ah, the whole world is crumbling around you. What will I do? Well, ever since I come to Federal Judicial Society for the Blind, it has been a turnaround for me. Right, I get more confident. I work with, at least I talk much better now. And uh, I am ready to go out there and face the world. That's why I just see it now. In terms of what I need to do or what I have to do, human relations, communications, because I, I love talking. <laughs> mm, I like that. <laughs> so you really want to go into that particular field? <laughs> yeah, that's so you I'm, don't want to teach I, mathematics I, I, again? No, I'm going to teach for the side now. I okay. think people I feel just as consulta uh, consultant now. Exactly. So that time, it's still there my body. You think <laughs> I teach you math for well, and I go teach you. Lots of indices I'll not give for all okay. yeah, So it's there my head. 
Yeah. Oh, that, that's very nice. That's very nice. Now, apart from the fact that uh, now they actually cater to the needs of um, people living in, um, with with um, who are visually impaired, yeah. Yeah. which other thing again the organization do actually do this year? Ah. This year yeah, has it, been it, it a year of a lot, a lot of things. Let's so, you know, know, we get Braille. <laughs> Braille is the language and the way blind people they use read and write. So, we have a Braille press. So, this year we have really. Go on, please. So, this year we have really put a lot of effort in that. This year we have the first Braille menu that was um, released at one of the restaurants in Victoria Island, Lagos. And we also have um, a contract with some pharmaceuticals to brew some medications on you know, packs for people that are visually impaired to be able to read the packages. Mm. And um, so, and then, well, like I said, we met at the House of Assembly where we put forward a motion for the disability um, law when it comes to special people's law for white kin to be implemented. So this year has really been a, a great year not, for not, us. Not to forget <laughs> it. Now, get any activity for today? Yes. So we're celebrating International Day for Persons with Disability. We are going to different media houses. So we thank you so much for giving us the audience here. As always, we we're here last year. Mm -hmm. We're here this year. So we're very grateful. And we'll next, be here next year. We'll be here next <laughs> year. And <laughs> tomorrow is our graduation. Cyril is even graduating tomorrow. Oh, but that is from what? From the society. So from his, from his program at the society, the academic and vocational program. Oh. So their graduation is tomorrow. So first and second year students are... Tell us about the vocational program and how long? Uh, we have uh, the one-year course, which is advanced for people who have gone to school, like myself. Okay. Um, then we have two-year course that for those maybe they are just starting and they want to go back to school. So in my own case, advanced level, I started in January, and by God's grace, tomorrow I'll be finishing, concluding the, uh, the oh, program. Congratulations. So, um, so with this vocational I, I, course, what you fit to do? What you yeah. Right now, I did um, Braille, typewriting, computer, wow. then mobility and orientation. Then in addition, DLS, that means daily living skills, mm -hmm. how to wow. cook. If, you, if I cook for you now, I need, mm. I need <laughs> a bite of finger now I'm in my so own. If you, so yeah. you, right now, if you tell the different seasoning we need to use, you fit to fill them and know the seasoning we need to use. For for example, let's say if you want to cook soup. Uh, they knows they work now, sure. Okay. If I put on there, he knows I ask more like that. Or if it, if now sometimes I go test. Uh, and you know the quantity to actually pour inside. Yes, now I don't cook before now, so I go I go just do some uh, improvisation. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I like that. Now, why, before we actually end this interview, now why would they actually handle people, um, outsiders, and the discrimination where they come with people living with disabilities? Let's talk about your inner cycle, your family, your mm. friends. How do they, they support you hey. to help you? Um, knowing fully where I say you're visually impaired. You get very supportive uh, for me. <laughs> uh, from my own side, yeah. I have a wonderful wife Aww. and lovely children, five of them, twins inclusive. Wow. So those ones very supportive. They stood by me all through my dark period. For my friends, and then raised me up again. That's, mm. what, that's how to tell your true friends. True friends. Even your yeah. past students. Yeah. My past students, those are where you see me uh, through Facebook, through Insta mm -hmm. Instagram, they come running around me and say, ah, this man, he do something for our life. Wow. It's time to do something for his life. Nice. They rally around me. So now because of them, they have me stand again, and I thank God for their lives. I like that. Congratulations to you. Where people get more information about your school? Okay, so we get uh, social media. We get Facebook. Federal Nigeria Society for the Blind. That's Federal Nigeria Society for the Blind. For Instagram, now Fed, F-E-D, Nij, Nigeria, for blind. So, and then Twitter is School for the Blind. That's number eight, four. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jamilade um, Lewis, the thank head you. of communication, thank you, Federal thank you, thank you. Society for, for the Blind. Fed, for for the the blind. blind. And then Cyril Ojime, yes. um, you, you have you know, that's where they're visually impaired, but still, you know, alarm actually stop you from achieving your goals. And we wish not, you all the Not verbally impaired. <laughs> not verbally oh, impaired. Exactly. Oh, intellectually. <laughs> exactly. Impaired. Your hands and your legs are very, very uh, working well. I did, can't we? I trust you. But thanks for once again. Thank you so much. Thank you. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.